Hi. So I've been getting some questions about this lathe. This is the uh, YZ210D. It's the long bed version of a bunch of these lathes. And uh, this is like I've had this about a year, over a year. And I use this thing almost every weekend making all kinds of stuff, but um, I've been getting some questions about it. I mean, here's the tool post I use right there. You can freeze that and get that. And as you can see from the size of materials and stuff and how much of a mess it is right here today, I haven't cleaned it in a few weeks, but I make all kinds of stuff on this lathe. Um, for it to be like super precise, it takes a lot, but I don't use it for too many precise things. I make bushings for, uh, I'm rebuilding this Jeep. I make bushings and spacers like just here, like here's a little spacer in there. You can see it in there. Make stuff like that. I make these, I made this little adjuster for this tailgate thing, like this piece. I do a lot of work with uh, cold rolled form steel. Um, Cause that's what I have available to me. And uh, I did make a shear cutter for that kind of metal, which is getting off track of what this video is about but it's that you know with that profile there's people with videos how to make those but i mean all in all it's only went through one belt i did order two belts this particular model that's the belted number of belt it takes hold on there it is there you can see that a little better that's the number uh, that's I got this off of uh, eBay. I got two of them. I got an extra one. I only there's two on the machine, only one that the actual drive belt uh, let loose. But it hung in there. I mean, it didn't break. It just frayed all up and flipped over. But all in all, I mean, you can see it's still tight. I mean, I put Loctite once I set them screws in the back. If you don't, those things will keep coming loose. But I mean, this thing still runs great. I have no issues with it. So, I mean, that's about it. I mean, it's still, like I said, it's a good little lathe for what I use it for. Um, I ain't afraid. I have all carbide cutters except that shear cutter. And uh, you just got to let it have it. I mean, you know, don't be afraid of it. I used to take real light cuts and things like that all the time with it, but now... I've been using it for a while, as you can see from that. Like, I take some pretty aggressive cuts, and it's working pretty good. Um, this thing, it seems to go out of alignment. Uh, but you just got to reset it. I mean, it's got screws and all that stuff. But uh, that's about it. I uh, got that oversized chuck on there, but I do some huge line boring with it that i mean i've line board stuff and things like that with this thing not line board but you know what i mean reamed with this thing it did it i mean it uh it worked so i mean if you want to get one of these and you're not every day doing super precise stuff uh it's not a bad machine for utility work making washers spacers all kinds of stuff i make on this thing so that's my update on my vivor yz 210d thanks for watching the video